Hello everyone, welcome. What the fuck was that? Look how big my hands are. <coughs> Hello everyone, welcome to the vlog. It's actually been so long since I filmed in a bedroom. It's actually like freaking me out right now. And also, I just got back from like a big walk, so I look like shit. But what's new? Um, I've been wanting to film this for a while, but I didn't even know where to start. I have kind of finished work. We finished Black Crow Mountain. Um, we had our last day last week, so I thought now would be a perfect time to film lots of content especially whistler content because that's where i live obviously something i feel like that comes up a lot oh yeah look at my burn just ignore that something that comes up a lot i feel like is a lot of questions about money and budget and how much things cost in whistler and i feel like i could like do a little summary video perfectly easily um seeing that i've been here almost i don't even know well three seasons let's say three seasons i feel like i know the costs of things pretty well but to make this more fun i figured it would be better if i actually showed you how much i actually spend in real life you're going to get to know me real freaking well i don't think my spending is as typical spending as some other people in whistler but i'm going to share that along the way and it'll make more sense as we go along blah, 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 blah. to make this as legit as possible i am filming today on payday it's payday friday because there's a bee outside but to be completely transparent, this fortnight, I just received in my bank account, drum roll. Also, I'm very poor at the moment. I just bought an iPhone. So please don't hear this paycheck and think, wow, she's rolling in cash. I am the literally opposite of rolling in cash. This time last year, oh, sorry. Yeah, last year, I was 100% rolling in cash after last winter. I bought a car. I was going to festivals. I was having the time of my life. This year, I'm not sure what's happened. Something's gone wrong terribly and I have no money. So the money that I received this week is literally all the money that I have. So, okay, back to the drum roll. My paycheck this week was $2,000, I believe. I'm pretty sure I didn't even check, but I had $2,000, a little over $2,000 in my account, which means that's how much I got paid. The first thing that I do every payday, if I remember, is well first i transfer the money into my savings to pretend like i save a lot after that i pay for my rent so if you work for the mountain your rent is due every payday but you have to actually physically go and pay it well no not physically but physically on your phone you have to pay it um it's really kind of annoying that it doesn't just come out of your paycheck so you have to remember every payday shit i gotta pay rent that's the first thing that you gotta do because obviously that's the biggest most important thing not the biggest sorry but biggest priority. So pay rent first. My rent is, in terms of Whistler rent, cheap. In terms of mountain housing, stuff housing, not as cheap. I pay $315 a fortnight. To me, pretty reasonable. I've paid that amount basically like my whole life. So pretty normal. When I was at West Side, I was 260, I believe. And I'm fairly sure Glacier Star Housing pay 180. So very reasonable. So that's the first thing that I pay for. And then after that, I'm free as a bird. And then I'm just gonna let this video play out. I'm gonna try and track everything that I spend. Um, I honestly don't know what this week will entail. I was just thinking on my walk, I was like, huh. I haven't spent any money today, which is pretty good for me. But wrong, I have spent money. See, I have this little problem where I spent all my money on Amazon. So literally, I've spoken about Amazon like a thousand times on here, but you can get everything on Amazon. It literally comes the next day. It is the best thing of all time. Um, I love it. I literally just click buy and it's done. That's it. I don't have to do nothing. It's so, so easy. And I love it so, so much. So today, actually, I bought a mop because I don't mop my floors very often because it's like a mop and bucket. And like, who can be bothered? Like, literally, no. So I got one of those mops that you just put water into or like whatever. And it's got that little scrubby thing at the bottom and you just... You know what I'm talking about. But I feel like I'm going to keep my house much cleaner with that, with that. And I feel like coming to summer, I want the space to be like really nice and beautiful and clean and lovely. So that's my thinking there. 1800 dollars Today I did buy one of those little um 
they call it like a little phone wallet thing that you put on the back of your phone for your cards. That's what I use on my phone to carry around everything. I don't carry a bag or a wallet or nothing. I just carry my phone. I had to buy that today. That was only 10 bucks. Um, and the mop was $30. So, so far today, without even trying, I've spent $40 but it's okay and I mean let's just throw it in there because I don't know if I'll go out again in these two weeks I'm gonna actually be a hermit this two weeks so I might be like not as realistic last night I went to um well actually we're really we're diving straight into here there's 10 minutes already and the video has not even started yesterday I bought a gym pass that I spent 215 dollars and then I went out to dinner with my friends because they're leaving me. Um, and that was $68 for both me and Stefan because I paid because I'm a sugar mama. Um, and that was including tip and tax. So if you count yesterday as well, I've already spent this amount on the screen. So, as you can see, it's very easy to spend money without even trying. Um, but let's see how the rest of the week goes. I'm going to try not to ramble on. This will probably be the only time that I'm talking through the video. The rest is just going to be me um, living my best life, spending all the money that I want in the world because I have no self-control. And, yeah, I hope you enjoy the video. Let's let's see if I save any money. That's That'll be the real test. I started with 2000 Let's count the shit that I bought the other day. Except the phone, obviously. And let's see if I can save any money. Okay. Enjoy the video. day without spending money but here we are we just got a little a little treaty um but Stefan paid so I'm not gonna I don't know if I should count it on my total but Stefan how much was it $33 $33 see it adds up quickly smile I literally made a cold brew at home so that I wouldn't spend any money and then this dude this dude says you want to go to Timmy's, so I've just spent five freaking dollars, and I just spent a lot of money on Amazon. But I'll show that later. You put a barn in it. That's the real question. Yeah. Twelve bucks. Hope you're happy with yourself. I'm trying to save money. I've just spent thirty dollars. Okay. This is. I don't know how much I spent. I believe $230 worth of shopping. I did like a huge shop this week because I'm gonna try and like make my own meals. I've been making um Hello uh, like chef's plates. It's like pretty discounted if you do like the first few weeks, like $60 or $30 for a few meals, which is awesome. But I'm gonna try and make it myself cause I don't know if that's gonna add up to like be more expensive so I kind of wanted to test it out this week so I got a lot of stuff I think we actually did pretty good to be honest 200 bucks that's 100 each like that's super reasonable seeing as though yeah a dinner out is like 50 to 100 so I'll show you what I got is that me we just went to taps to watch some of the playoffs and Stefan made me spend 20, well, I think it was 18 plus tip. I think I spent like 20 something dollars on two ciders. So that's how easily it adds up. That was just one drink. I could have, on a normal night out, I would normally drink like a lot and pay for a lot of friends' drinks just because I do that. Just so you know, that's how much it costs. Especially if you tip and you got a tip because we love the peeps at taps, don't we? <laughs> Which ones am I? Yep, bye! Dude, I'm gonna be so jacked on iced coffee. Spinning. Should we 
actually really not happy that I had to pay two dollars for fuel. So I'm curious to see how much he puts in. How much? Fifty bucks. How much we get? Twenty-five liters. He heads in my shot. Guys, I can't stop spending money. I just went to Walmart and saw my marinara sauce that I haven't had for like 20 years, so I had to buy it. But I only spent $10, so that's pretty good for me. Wow, I actually look so bad when I wake up. I'm actually like in shock. I haven't bought too much, but I just wanted to tell you. I don't even know what I'm saying. We went out for dinner the other night, which was awesome because it was totally free. We um, got like a little leadership dinner, which was really awesome. Since then, I have literally been doing not much. We've done like a little, a few little like grocery top ups. Usually we just pay on the credit card. So it's really easy to track our money there. The thing that's really hard to track actually is like how much me and Stefan spend together because like I always like buy stuff. And I'm like, yeah, just pay me back. But like, I never keep track. Like for instance, Amazon, like I've been buying so much on Amazon and I'm like, yeah, just pay me back. And like, I don't track it, but I don't really care cause it's fine. But yeah, I bought a lot of stuff on Amazon again. Like I just cannot be stopped. But yeah, we went to dinner the other night. I forgot to get um, some videos, but it was the $29 um, spring deal, which was awesome. It was $29 each. And we were going to get a drink and we're like, it'll be a little bit more. It's totally fine. And then we were looking at the menu and we were like, oh yeah, we'll get a mango margarita. And then for some reason, instead of looking where it says the actual price for the picture, Stefan saw like something about adding on something and it said picture plus 10. And we were like, a, a, pi an, a picture is only like a jug is only $10 more. So we're like, okay, let's do that. So we were like, we're going to get a picture of a mango margarita. And she's like, nice, good choice. And we're like, yeah. We were like, this is so good. And she brings out this huge fucking jug of mango margarita. And we were like, wow, this is huge. Like, how can it only be $10 more? And still, we didn't really question anything. We honestly just thought we were getting the deal of the century. And then she brings over our bill. And I, like, open up expecting to see, like, I don't know. I would say roughly, like, $70 or $80. And it says, like, $150. And I'm like, oh, my God. It was so funny. So we ended up paying, like, $100. And... 70 or 60 dollars something like that because obviously we tipped so that was an, quite an expensive night out that didn't mean to happen but it is what it is it was pretty funny yeah it's about to be payday friday in two days so i'll see how much more i spend but we are getting really close and i'm really excited to see how much i spent so that should be next let's see let's see if I, how much money i've spent i'm actually like i'm actually terrified hello i feel like i'm gonna sit far back because this is a very informal video because this is the ending of my cost of living video i have actually been sitting on this for like maybe two weeks because i needed to finalize all the clips and calculate all the money and watching it back i'm like oh my god i actually spent so much money the crazy thing is sorry i'm rolling the crazy thing is with the two week period that I shared, I actually only went out for drinks once and I only bought one drink. That is like very rare for me, especially in winter um, and in Whistler, obviously, like going out to drink is a very common, like, I, I can't put a number on it. Everyone's different, but like, even for me who like, I don't usually drink that often, I would say like at least once a week, um, sometimes twice a week. It's not always like, going out out but definitely having a few drinks or buying a few drinks so that's definitely like the biggest cost that I would um be wary of that you like when you do your budget to come here you're like oh my god yeah like groceries and a bus and like oh yeah like a few drinks here and there no like the majority will be drinking and then also the big killer to the budget is definitely like buying groceries it's so easy here to just like stop off on the way home and buy like some snacks or buy whatever you need for dinner but it adds up really fast because uh everything's freaking expensive here you know you like again you budget it but even us we did that huge shop and then like i would say we went back a few more times that i didn't even record to just to grab a few odds and ends and then we're like oh we'll just grab like a little snack or a little whatever so it does add up very quickly and yeah i would definitely have a buffer that would be my um advice like don't you don't have to stick to something so strict to be prepared to be spending things that you wouldn't normally 
expect because things do come up spontaneously too like after this week like we ended up going to vancouver island and doing like a bunch of stuff that like i wasn't really budgeting for but um i think just i don't know do i have any advice about saving money it's not really this is not really the place to be saving money this is kind of the place to just save before you get here and then spend it all when you get here that's honestly kind of the vibe if there's something in particular that you're saving for like it's definitely easy to be mindful i would say the biggest things like i said like we're going out drinking rather than going out to the pub just buying some drinks having them at home and not saying yes to every event and then for groceries yeah just eat and trying not to eat out trying to just cook some meals will definitely make a big difference and yeah i buy a lot of coffee so there's that also you do have to tip here and it does add up very fast especially like if you get, say you go to a restaurant you're tipping a percentage and it's a lot and sometimes a $60 dinner can turn into a $170 dinner very quickly. So be warned. Also keep in mind that my cost of living is for, well, the rent was just mine, but everything else I basically split with Stefan. So obviously it does seem like I spend a lot, but I'm splitting it. Although I'm not the best at keeping track of my splitting. So there's that but it doesn't matter. Life, life is good. So in total, I spent this four times. Drum roll. That was the worst drum roll ever. Um, I spent $1,454 or something along those lines. Let's just round up to $1,500. Bro. That's so much money. Just gone. Just gone. I earned so much and it is just all gone but there you have it that is the cost of living in whistler it's not for the faint of heart <laughs> and be prepared to literally have no money all the time yes thank you for watching sorry it's quite a, actually it was quite a long one i talked a lot more than i was expecting to talk but i really had fun filming this and i really had fun um realizing how bad i am with money and i had fun realizing how great a place this is to live i hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching sorry i look i look terrible but it's fine it's 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 real life mate this is real life so thank you for watching the video. I appreciate you. And yeah. Bye. <laughs>